Hello everybody, what's up? Yeah. So this is another fragrance review actually. I haven't done that for uh, maybe like three weeks or something. But anyway, uh so you know last week I tried this this fragrance and then I was really you know I enjoyed it but uh, I wasn't yet sure if I wanted to purchase it but today anyway I again was in that shop and I again tried it and I thought why the hell not you know <laughs> so this is I already got like uh, two of the famous uh, lines well two how do I say it specimens of this famous uh, famous house which is Jean Paul Gaultier so this one is a uh, one that I feel has fallen a bit uh, below the radar for some reason especially in comparison to the uh, now but this is Le Ball so it's a really beautiful bottle it's like uh, turquoise blue color blue green you know very nice that's one of the first things you notice about this thing but when i of course when you try it it's got that of course coconut tea vibe you know i thought it kind of reminded me a little bit about uh, uh yeah but it's not that similar to scandal but i thought at first that yeah there was some similarities i think this, the main similarity is that both are kind of more like gourmet like you know sense no yeah this one definitely had yeah, the dry down first you feel you know that coconut uh, scent and then it dry down it's more like uh don't come in you know and uh so this one is uh actually first the price this one that i got is uh, uh 72 euro for uh for 75 ml yeah and in uh dollars let's see american dollars it's like uh 80 yeah 80 dollars oh 80.5 yeah and in pounds well <laughs> it's uh 60 pounds almost exactly that so it's a rather you know, reasonable price it's not something really cheap but it cannot be either because this is really high quality and i think i feel that among designer fragrances this one jean paul Gaultier, is Right. Well, definitely one of the best there is no doubt because they don't make boring fragrances usually well the Lamar Le Parfum that came out last year in the beginning of last year that one was a little you know generic and boring but usually they really take their fragrances to you know they usually make really kind of a bold and daring and at the same time rather pleasant smelling of fragrances that are rich in aroma yeah <laughs> so this one came out in 2000 or 2019 it was created by Quentin Bish and Sonia Constant and the top note is bergamot the middle note is coconut and the base note is tonka bean yes but here it's also described as having some vanilla yeah maybe mm, i really like this kind of dry down also because uh it gets a lot less citrusy and gets more like really like uh, tropical yeah it's a very kind of tropical kind of scent and uh, yeah it's just something that, uh, well, I guess this is more suitable to be worn in the, in the warmer months, but I guess it can be worn also in the colder ones. But I, I think 
most likely it's better you know when it's warm <laughs> and in the summer especially I guess um, yeah so it's not something you want to wear to your office or to the gym it's more like something you wear at night when it's in the summer yeah definitely so yeah I really don't have anything else to say apart from the fact that I really am enjoying it, you know. And uh, I don't think that will change because this isn't one of those, you know, tricky kind of fragrances. Like, where at first, yeah, you like it, but then later on you kind of get tired of it or, you know, it gets too much in the long run. Some of them are very, you know, some of these stronger or more complex kind of fragrances they can be a little you know like that you get a little you know they get too overpowering or you know they can tend to change they smell nice after you just put them on but then after a few hours they totally their whole vibe their whole dna changes so i don't think this is one of those just feels like a very easy to like easy to like and likeable fragrance simply so that was my review of Fleur Ball Jean Paul Gaultier have a, have a nice day bye bye